The findings of a new study has ignited hope for thousands of people who are waiting for a heart transplant. You heard that right. Patches of muscles grown from stem cells might help repair a failing heart. Hi, my name is Soumya Pillai and I'm here with another episode of Pure Science. A recent study published in the international journal Nature has released a groundbreaking development. The authors of the study created an implantable patch composed of heart muscles that can help the organ contract. In simple words, these are laboratory grown patches to heal advanced heart failures, which also have the potential to stabilize and strengthen heart muscles. Now to be clear, this is not a treatment intended to replace the need for a full heart transplant, but this holds immense promise for patients with advanced heart diseases who are waiting for a donor heart to become available. First, let me give you a sense of what the discovery is and then we are going to move on to how significant this discovery is. These patches are made from cells that can be taken from the blood of any healthy person and reprogrammed to act as a stem cell. These stem cells are then made into heart muscle with connective tissue cells. These lab-grown cardiac tissue can be grafted onto beating hearts and help them repair. For implanting it, a small incision is made on the chest and the patch, which is about 4 inches by 2 inches in size, is stitched onto the surface of the heart. According to the research paper, the experiments have shown promising results in animals and humans. In clinical trials on monkeys, it was found that the patches were able to efficiently contract, enhance and even thicken the heart wall, leading to improved pumping. Even though the trials in humans are still on a small scale, a case study of a 46-year-old woman who had a heart attack back in 2016 and whose condition progressively worsened has been encouraging for scientists. This patient tried the lab-grown heart patch in 2021 after all her treatment options failed. In her case, it was found that the patch proved effective for over three months till she was able to get a heart transplant. Throughout the period, she remained in stable health with no side effects. Currently, the clinical trials are underway for 15 patients. While this innovation promises to become a golden bullet, which could save the lives of hundreds of heart patients, it might not be useful for patients who are in need for emergency care. This is because these patches are required to stay and grow in a patient's body for a few months. Now, why is this innovation being touted as a possible game changer? Let me explain this with some data. According to a 2024 report by the World Health Organization, cardiovascular diseases, including ischemic heart diseases and strokes, was the top global cause of death. Estimates show that about 60 million people worldwide are living with heart failure and more than half the people who are diagnosed with serious heart failure die within a year. To make things worse for these patients, artificial pumping devices, which are the next best option to a donor heart, are expensive and often come with risks. While even the most developed countries in the world are facing a shortage of donors, the wait time for organ transplants in India is alarmingly long. According to the Indian government's National Organ and Tissue Transplant Organization, or NOTO as you might know it, which is the apex body overseeing organ donations in the country, in 2023, a total of 221 heart transplants were performed across the country. Estimates also show that nearly 10% of heart patients in India suffer from end-stage heart failure, which may require a transplant. In organ donations, southern states have consistently performed better. So in this case too, Tamil Nadu was leading the list with 70 transplants, followed by Karnataka with 35, 
Maharashtra with 33, Gujarat with 29, and Telangana with 15 transplants. The number of heart transplants is also obviously lower than other organs like kidney or liver, where you can get a living donor as opposed to a heart donor who needs to be on life support with minimum chances of recovery or survival. That thins out the donor options. Convincing families to agree to organ donations also require tremendous sensitivity. In an already difficult times, families need to be counselled by experts on how lives can be saved by their decision. If this innovation proves to be successful in the coming years, this will become a saving grace for hundreds of patients who have to wait in line for a donor heart to become available. But getting to the final stage with the trials of these lab-grown heart patches before they become a treatment option will come with several considerations. First of all, the human trial itself will have to be monitored on a larger patient size for a longer period of time to get accurate results on how these patches are performing. That's because some previous attempts to attach heart muscle cells in humans have had mixed results. While they also prove to be a better option for patients, they have required the administration of strong drugs to keep the heart from rejecting the new cells. There has also been an experiment where a patient's own stem cells were taken to develop into heart tissue, but this process took a lot of time and the results were not very viable. So we will have to wait and watch how the latest trials progress and if it actually changes the face of heart failure treatments as we know it. Thanks for staying with me. I'm Soumya Pele and this was The Print Pure Science.